a couple of ways that, that Gary Loveman, our CEO, has really empowered me and enabled me to do my job uh, as CMO better. Um, and it all starts with communicating, not just to me, but to the enterprise and to my peers on the leadership team, as well as our general managers and the others who, who lead our business, what is it that he expects from me as the CMO? So there are a couple of specific moments um, that I can think of when our CEO, Gary Loveman, um, really um, helped change the trajectory of marketing and really of the, um, set the tone for the role he wanted marketing to play. W one of these was um, when he um, started asking me to, the, to attend our, mar marketing, our marketing council sessions. Right, these are uh, meetings that we have on a quarterly basis in which I bring all the senior marketers of the company to one of our properties and we spend two days talking about what we're doing in marketing, how it's worked and what we want to do moving forward. And Gary has made it a point to actually be not just available but um, present for those to um, really come and address and really problem solve with the group of marketers. Another example in which um, our CEO has, has enabled marketing to um, uh, and empowered marketing is um, through some of the structures of the company. And, and here it's both informal and formal structures of the company. So he and some of our senior operators actually said um, a couple of months ago, it is strange that we would have these investment committees, what we call capital committee here. Um, it, it, we would have a capital committee that consists of all the senior operators of the company, but didn't include marketing. And so they asked me to join the capital committee, um, which makes all the investment decisions around the new bars and restaurants and buildings and casinos and hotel rooms and what have you that we have around the company. And it's interesting the rationale that was given for that as well, again, by both our CEO Gary Loveman as well as by some of our senior operators, which is that a lot of these decisions are about the brand and they're about the customer experience and so we need to have marketing be a part of those conversations. And the change that has occurred since that happened it has been remarkable because marketing is now proactively sought out as a partner in these conversations whereas in some cases in the past it would have been an afterthought or more of a check the box as opposed to a real partnership.